In the Revit generic model template, we have two reference planes. These lines are basically a reference plane, center front back and center left right. And these reference planes are reflected in the views front, back, left and right, as you can see in the project browser. And when I select these two reference planes, I can see that they have a checkmark defines origin enabled. This means that will be this crossing will be a placement point of the of our family. So we usually want to keep it symmetrical to this point, right? In order for it to look good and for order uh, to good parameterization of object. So let's first learn how to create a basic extrusion. I will select extrusion and draw a simple rectangle. This rectangle will have some dimensions, but we don't have to worry about it now. I will finish the edit mode. And if I go to the front, you see that the extrusion from reference level was created and the value is 250. I can change this value to any type I want. Yes or use the shape handles to change the geometry. You see, I'm modifying this parameter. I can also use it for switching the geometry of this object. Okay, so now I can uh, use a dimension uh, for, uh, for the parameterizing purposes. So I am using this normal standard aligned dimension and will create a first dimension and select equal. So I'm uh, creating a symmetry using this equal a tool, All right? Just clicking. Now I am dimensioning width and height of the object. Okay. Uh, once I click on any uh, dimension on the Modify tab, there is Label Dimension tool and I can create new parameter. I can create type or instance parameter. It's uh, good that you know the difference between these two objects, but if not, I will explain it how it works in a second. So I will call it a width and it will be stored under the dimensions uh, group. I call this height. This will also be a, a type parameter. Okay. And the third one would be uh, thickness. So I can parameterize a thickness in a different way. I can also create a dimension and call it thickness, but I can also parameterize uh, properties of such object using this small rectangle next to the extrusion and uh, parameter. So I click on it, create new parameter, the same window will appear and I will call it uh, thickness. I will make it an instance parameter. Okay. I don't need this uh, dimension, so I will just delete. The next, next thing we will do is go to family types window. This family types will sum up all the, th all the parameters that we created in this project, like mentioned height, width and thickness. There is a default in the brackets next to the thickness, uh, signifying that it's a instance parameter. So these are type parameters, height and width and thickness is an instance. And here we can create our own types. For example, let's create a thousand by thousand cube. I will enter this value and this type is already there. I can create other type. And the default value 
let's enter 500 you will understand how it works once it's placed in the in the Revit project okay so I have two types it's also always good to test family belief before loading it into the project so let me create a new type just for testing so I will enter 500 200 any value and check if there are some error appears on the screen if not it means and the geometry is changing according to our needs then I guess it's okay so mm, I can create a new project now to f to test it in action so it's a final testing always to check how the family behaves inside of the project I will load this family into the project and place it somewhere I have three different types so I will enter this one the second one and the third which we didn't give any particular name but anyway you will understand what I will try to say so as I said uh, height and width are type parameters so they are stored under edit type window and uh, we can of course duplicate duplicate the name of it uh, duplicate this this type and create a new one inside right the same way as we create duplicate other objects in the project you probably know how to do this already and we have instance parameter and instance parameters are stored under, under properties and we can change its values uh, by selecting the object and modifying it, its properties so for example these two have it could have this both can be 1000 by 1000 type but have different thickness right and still belong to the same type as you can see this family is called family 5 and it's stored under generic model of course it's a good practice to save the family before loading it into the project so I should go to save as family I will create a new folder here called custom and I will create a new folder it's good to maintain the the category hierarchy similar to the one we have in a default Revit uh, Revit uh, families right so in my custom families generic models I will call it cube file so I will save it here and that's it my first family was created let me show you just one quick thing that we can select any type of geometry and also parameterize its material so I can create also this small rectangle create new decide whether it, it will be instance or type let me call, uh, make it instance and I will call it simply material okay once in the project because we saved it as a different name of course this will be our this two will be now two separate families so I will delete this one and I have also now can change the material of this object 